Howdy y'all, it's Ms. Kosh. I wanted to do an application problem with the law of sine, law of cosine. Um, this is from the IB book, but I'll probably use it with pre-cal as well. So, enjoy. Okay, so they tell us the elevation at the top of a mountain are measured from two beacons, A and B, at C. Okay, the measurements are shown in the diagram. If the beacons are 100, no, 1,473 meters apart, 1473 between A and B, how high is the mountain? Okay, so what do we know here? Well, first of all, we know we know this length, and we don't know anything in the right triangle. So, um, well, we know an angle in the right triangle, but that, that's all we know. So we need to do a little bit more work to figure out a couple things um, before our goal is to find this T in, okay? That's our ultimate goal. So let's see if we can, what we can do to get there. Um, okay, so here is what I see. First of all, I know that if this is um, if this is a um, forty one point two degrees, then I know that this angle would be well, it's forty and one forty equals equals one eighty. So one thirty, uh, what is that? One thirty eight point eight. Does that add up? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that angle right there is one hundred thirty eight point eight. Therefore, I need to find. I want to find this little angle up here. So one eighty minus 29.7 minus 138.8. That's not the only way I could have gotten this, but um, this gives us an angle up here of 11.5 degrees. Um, what I could have also said, I should have thought of this, I taught geometry for long enough, is that this one right here, this angle is going to be equal to this one plus this one. So the that um, and sure enough, if you do 41.2 minus uh, 29.7, you would also get that 11.5. So that's another way to get that. Okay, so now we know we've got this triangle, um, and we have we have the, the three angles, and we've got a side. And what we really would like to find out is it would be helpful to find this side length right here, because then we could have information about that right triangle. Um, so h right here, we could say that sine of 41.2 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Um, and so let's first find, so that's, that's our ultimate goal. Let's first find h with the law of sine. And so what we can do here is we can say sine of 29.7 over, what's across from 29.7? I'm just looking at this little triangle. Um, that's what I'm looking at. And um, so opposite the 29.7 is x is equal to, what do I know? I know this side right here. So the angle across from it is 11.5. Is so sine of 11.5 over 1473. So now I have, um, well, x sine of 11.5 is equal to 1473 sine of 29.7. Um, and then, therefore, the exact value for x is this. This is exact because I haven't rounded anything. I didn't plug it into my calculator. Um, but to be honest with you, they probably rounded those angles when they were actually measuring it. Well, this is just a minute problem, but that's fine. 1473 times sine of 29.7. Yes, I'm in degrees. I just looked up at the top of my calculator to verify. Divided by sine of 11.5 is equal to, I found that x is approximately 3, oop, that's not what it was, 3660 point, oop, point 0.6. Um, I, B, well, 6, Two, two. Okay. IB typically likes three sig figs and pre-cal typically likes three decimal places. But there we go. Actually, what I can do, do on my calculator is I can store this. Um, and I, if you look, the, the button right above the on button is an arrow. And I'm going to store that as um, alpha A. And so now my calculator remembers that. So then I come over here and I will say sine of 41.2 is equal to h over um, that 3660. Um, so therefore h is equal to 3660 sine of 41.2. So if I had rounded 3660 times sine of 41.2, I get that h is approximately 2410.2. 803, well, except 
for IB, we're going to round to three sig figs. What were my units? Meters. If I had used that stored value, so then what I would do is I would type, um, I stored it as alpha A, so it's A times sine of 41.2 would give me, that actually gave me, when I used an exact value for H right here, um, or here, I lied. Not an exact value for H. I didn't mean to lie, but I did. Um, what I was trying to say is if I use an exact value for X right here, then it actually gave me a slightly different decimal approximation. Um, it was 2, 4, 1, 1. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Um, but 3 sig figs, that's just going to be 2, 4, 1, 0 meters also. So they kind of round up to the same. Our textbook, what did they do? Up, oh, They went ahead and rounded here but with a bunch of decimal places, and then they went ahead and used their three sig figs down there. So um, we match the textbook, which is good news. All right, um, the only way to learn this stuff is to practice, so good luck.